Lucio, this is Rod with Nuwati Herbals. Uh, coming to you from my office. No Rod on the road today. Supposed to be in Denver for the powwow, but um, like everything else, it got canceled. So we are at home for a while and hope that you are too. This is a, a very strange time that we're living in, a very scary time. Uh, that's why I wanted to come to you today. Um, everybody has a fear of the unknown, and this is an unknown. It's never happened before with this particular strain, and they're just learning how to deal with it. So we have to trust that the best is being done for the people and that um, we're going to come out of this on top. We always rise to the occasion. Uh, we've always said that uh, there's not enough time to do things. Well, you got some time now. With this social distancing, people are going to be at home. So uh, I imagine a lot of closets are going to be cleaned out. I imagine a lot of uh, things are going to get done that should have been done a long time ago. You know, when Kimberly and I started Nawadi Herbals, we wanted to help people get back to the old ways. And that's what's going on now. People are pretty much staying home, cooking in. Uh, you know, Kimberly and I used to, or we still do, we, we really enjoy going out to different restaurants and, and having a meal out. But Kimberly's a great cook, so I'm not missing the missing that at all other than just seeing people out having a good time so that too will come back everything's going to come back this is a time for us to go inside and learn more about ourselves you know the entire world is kind of on pause right now it's an opportunity to reset reset your goals your plans your dreams not forget them. Just start taking advantage of the time that you have to get things done. You know, this country has such a great spirit. No matter what ancestry you have, it's in your genes to be a survivor. And we will survive. We're going to rise above this and come out on top. This is going to pass. So... I just say to you to use your time wisely. You know, when I was a kid, going down to my grandparents who lived eight miles south of Potosi, which is about almost 90 miles south of St. Louis, we lived pretty rustically. We lived on Big River, close to where it ends, and now Kimberly and I live on, on the same river, on Big River, close to where it I'm sorry, they lived close to where it starts. We live close to where it ends. So it's kind of a full circle, if you get my drift. But when we would go down there on the weekends, there was no TV. There was uh, not even an indoor bathroom. We had to go outside to the outhouse. Things have changed considerably since then. But... The old ways are, the, are good ways. We've forgotten a lot of the things that we used to do and things that used to keep us healthy. And it's time to get back to that. Take this time to be with your family, to talk, to, to understand what's going on in their lives. Be the person that you always thought that you were and you have time to be now so I'm going to say a little prayer uh, if you don't want to hear the prayer just turn it off now but I think this is a good time to remember that you know they, they tell us to wash our hands well after you wash your hands put them together spend some time with creator spend some time inside yourself Grandfather, we come to you today in a good way, and we ask you to, to 
be with our friends, with our family, be with the world, Grandfather. This is a tough time. We know that we are going to come out of this. We know that we will be better when we do. But we also know that some people will not come out of this. And we pray for them. We ask that you bless them, bless their families. Be with those around them. Help them to understand. Grandfather, we just ask for that protective bubble around our everyone in the world. That you will protect them, keep them safe, and help them to get through this in a good, positive note. Be with our four-leggeds. Bless them, Grandfather, for all the joy that they bring to us. We ask these things in a good way. Oh. I want to leave you with a Cherokee word. De gade gay usisti. This is what I ask for all of us today. That means let us do good to one another. Be kind, be considerate, watch out for others. One of the greatest things that we can be in this life is a helper. Help those who need it, be with them. Oh.